Okay, so we're here in a very, very special place with a very special message. We have finally answered the ash question. In our most recent video, we talked about ash being, or the color of ash being a result of combustibility, okay, and how, how hot it burned, and nutrients in the soil. Before I get to the one word answer for this that the entire industry has been looking for for a very long time, and I'm so proud to have done the research to figure this out, I wanna tell you where I am right now. I am in J.C. Newman's laboratory. They have recreated his laboratory the way it looked when he worked here. In this laboratory, J.C. Newman was working on a way to remove all of the nicotine, or at least 99% of it, from cigars. So I think it's really fitting that we're talking about a scientific topic because science and the art and culture of cigars have always gone hand to hand. The real answer, the real reason, it is, does have something to do with nutrients and it does have something to do with combustibility, but the actual one word answer to why some cigars burn white and others don't is chlorophyll. Let's end it right there, Johnny. I think we're good. So chlorophyll, is a pigment found in all leaves, okay? It's what turn, le turns leaves green. And so a well-fermented tobacco leaf will have a lot of this chlorophyll removed from it and it will allow it to burn whiter, okay? Because chlorophyll has to do with the moisture and nutrients getting into all parts of that tobacco leaf. So if it's well-fermented, a lot of that has been taken out of it. So I had a few kind of questions once I learned what it was about. And by the way, I got this from a study. I can link it below. It had a lot to do with, they learned a lot of this from the tobacco industry, but also from now the marijuana industry and from studying forest fires. Uh, forests that would catch on fire that had less chlorophyll in the leaves, obviously it just left white ash everywhere. So they figured it out through that. So when a tobacco leaf is well fermented, a lot of that chlorophyll comes out. But it left me with this question of how come one of, uh, I think Bruce left it in a comment below. He said, I'm smoking the HVC hot chocolate cake exclusive and it's burning white as can be. And I thought to myself, that's such a thick wrapper, that San Andreas wrapper, and it's such a dark wrapper. Why would that have less chlorophyll in it than say a Corojo Habano natural, right? And so the answer is, and cigar manufacturers can tell you this. A lot of them don't know that it's chlorophyll, by the way. So it's really cool that we're at such an age of information where we can figure this out, right? But darker uh, uh, or thicker wrapper leaves, thicker leaves, period, have to be fermented longer and they have to be fermented at higher temperatures, thus removing more chlorophyll from them, allowing them to combust at a higher temperature and turn that ash ultra white, okay? So that's what that is. Now, I just had this conversation with the Newmans upstairs and I told them about this discovery uh, and this article and, and, and what it means. And Eric Newman mentioned that the lower primings of a tobacco plant tend to also have a whiter ash, which makes sense because they're growing in shade, getting less uh, uh, chlorophyll in them to begin with. So all of these things are really, really interesting, but I'm very proud to be able to have found this one word answer to why some cigars burn with a whiter ash and it has to do with chlorophyll. Which, it does go back to the other video, Johnny. Uh, chlorophyll has to do with some of the nutrients in the soil. It has to do with combustibility. So it's all of those things. But the one word answer we now know is chlorophyll. That's what makes a cigar color change in the ash. So hashtag We Are Pravada. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to JC Newman and co and family for allowing us to do a video in a sacred place like this. I don't know. I, I'm out of hashtags today. Peace.